All right, this is part two for how to build a careers site for ninth grade careers class at Malacca High School. And if you remember, we just left off completing the education tab. And so we're gonna click on the more tab here and we're gonna go to earnings slash benefits. Okay, so earnings slash benefits and we're gonna click on the text box here so it pops up. We're gonna create table that displays the projected earnings for your career. We're going to list the factors that influence your earnings for your career and what are the benefits associated with this career okay so that's what you need to put on the earnings and benefit uh, headline we're going to go up to working conditions next and so working conditions we're going to do same thing insert a text box summarize the information listed under working conditions working conditions heading in your outline okay so we're going to summarize the information listed under working conditions the heading in your outline I know it sounds a little goofy but that's how we want you to write it so we're going to do location work days and hours stressors or challenges employment outlook and so we're going to tab over here for the employment outlook we're going to do a projected number of annual openings and then we're going to do trends. So if you go back up to projected number of annual openings, hit the enter button once and then hit the backspace or delete button and it gives us more space in between there. And I guess I didn't want bullet points right here. So we can highlight this and we can turn the bullet points off. There we go. Okay. So that takes care of working conditions. Now we're going to move on to employment outlook. And so we haven't got that fully created yet, but we're going to be adding something down here as well. So let's continue. Personal qualities is just going to be um, something that we're going to add in separately as well. Okay, so the employment outlook and personal qualities. We'll probably add another text box and we'll talk about just kind of, this will be your chance to write a paragraph of some of the personal qualities you believe are needed in your job. And I probably should have done that on Employment Outlook, too. I should have added a text box, but we're probably going to talk, you know, more about that. Oh, it looks like I did, so okay, we're good there. So we at least got one text box in there, all right? And then the final one, Additional Careers, just add a text box in there for you. And we'll be able to add some more questions in there as well, as well as um, any other information. So when you get to this point, let's just review. You've got your full name up here, call it career site. Then when you get to your home page, you have your name. You have this information typed in there, okay? You have an about me tab with information typed, career research project tab, information typed, related occupations, educations in there for you, okay? Under the more, you got the earnings and the benefits. You got the working conditions in there for you, okay? And employment outlook, personal qualities, and additional careers you have set up um, just as blank right now with just an empty text box, okay? If you do want to change the theme, you can go over here to theme. There's not a lot to choose from over here, but it's up to you. You know, if I wanted to do this way, you know, having that, if I want to make it look like this, okay, I can. It's however you want to do it. It's completely your choice. I'm going to go with the simple theme, though. So that is how you make your career site. 
go ahead when you're all done raise your hand and um, let the instructor come around and make sure that everything is set up and good to go thank you